Delhi's air, why the problem refuses to go away. 2015, Supreme Court, New Delhi. We want justice. We want justice. It's true. Three infants in Delhi put a case against the Indian government. Our lungs are not fully developed and cannot take any more pollution. Under Article 21 of the Constitution of India, we have a right to clean air. Post Diwali this year, the AQI, that's the Air Quality Index in Delhi, was 497. 0 to 50, good. 51 to 100, satisfactory. Sensitive people might be affected. 101 to 200, moderately polluted. People with asthma and older adults and children may have a problem. 201 to 300, poor can cause discomfort even in healthy people. 301 to 400, very poor. People with heart and lung diseases will have a lot of problem and even healthy people will be affected with prolonged exposure. 401 to 500, severe. Even small physical activity in healthy people can cause discomfort. Serious long-term impact on lungs. Children are being told to stay indoors. School is shut today, go home and stay inside. A study among school-going children in Delhi showed that half of them are growing up with lung damage that cannot be repaired. A 2015 New York Times article on Delhi's air pollution by Gardiner Harris shocked the world and now many foreigners refuse to stay on in India's capital city. I left Delhi to go back to the US as my son kept getting asthma attacks, each attack being worse than the other. We were worried for his life. The International Energy Agency, IEA, says that 160 lakh Indians will die before they have to because of air pollution. Scott Kelly, who returned from space last month, from the sky, you could never see China or India because there was a permanent haze of smog over the two countries. The biggest culprit for poor air quality is the burning of agricultural waste by farmers. Images given by NASA show numerous farm-based fires in Punjab and Haryana and even in Pakistan. So whichever way the wind blows, Delhi gets affected. Burning of waste is illegal in Punjab, but farmers do it anyway. Where do I dump all this waste? The ash from burning will act as fertilizer for my crop. The Punjab police have arrested many farmers, but they still don't stop. We educate farmers through radio, television and hoardings and even give them machines to dig out old crop remains. Another reason are diesel trucks, especially old trucks which cross Delhi on the way to other states. That has now been stopped. Last year, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal even banned the sale of new diesel cars for three months and instead, cars ending with odd numbers can only be driven on Monday, Wednesday, Friday and even numbered cars can be driven on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. But the problem refuses to go away. This year, he is suggesting we should try make it rain. This is possible but expensive. We should also start vacuum cleaning of streets. Surprisingly, use of dung and kerosene for cooking is a major contributor to air pollution. But as more villages start getting electricity, this factor will reduce. The two coal powered plants of Badarpur and Rajgat also make matters worse. Construction and demolition activity has been stopped. Concrete dust is adding to the air pollution. Sometimes you can see the dirt in the air. These are large particles, 10 plus ppm, that is parts per million. I wear a mask to filter it out. Really dangerous ones are the small particles, 2.5 ppm, where masks don't help and they go straight to your lungs. And that is the real challenge before Chandani Choke becomes Chandani Choke. <laughs> if you liked this video, share it with your Facebook friends and like the Bisbo page and subscribe to Bisbo's channel on YouTube so you will get to know whenever Bisbo posts a new story. Bye.